Snipers, you have to see what's happening to the Bitcoin price this Thursday as we've yet to see continued momentum from yesterday's candle high of 55,750. But for the first time since January of 2021, we've come above the 20 week moving average for Bitcoin dominance. And so this is an extremely important video because we're going to talk about exactly what we're going to be monitoring heading into the weekend where the cryptocurrency market is the most manipulated and knowing that Bitcoin dominance is moving above this 20 week moving average. We are currently below it, but that's totally expected after coming above it for the first time since the start of this altcoin season. There is a lot of important things to talk about today. And notice how with Ethereum and some other altcoins, we're starting to see some momentum. Ethereum forming a new high today from yesterday with 3642 acting as a resistance just shy of the 3650 major resistance level that if we break could potentially take Ethereum back towards 4000 US dollars. I want to talk about whether or not this is on the table or not. And then, of course, we have to start looking at what's happening to traditional markets, because the reason we were fearful about this move to the upside is because the S&P 500 is showing so much weakness over the last two weeks. But guess what? We are back above this 100 day moving average. And with traditional markets starting to calm down with the S&P 500 above the 20 week moving average, is it time for Bitcoin and other altcoins to start seeing some momentum? to the upside without too much cautionary approach. That's something we're going to talk about today. And of course, we'll also take a look at what's happening to the DXY because we are starting to see the DXY cool off. We've yet to form new highs since the high that we formed on the 30th of September. And we are currently consolidating between the monthly and weekly open. That gives the opportunity for assets to see some breathing room. So things are certainly changing. It's a very dynamic environment. But what we do know is that the chart that factors in all of the altcoins outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum is breaking down after forming the lower high on the 6th of September. Notice how we are between the 50 day and the 100 day after testing the 100 day moving average for the first time since we got above it in the on the 15th of August. There's a lot of revolving parts that we're going to monitor over the next few days as we head into the weekend where the cryptocurrency market is the most manipulated. And we're going to first dive into this intraday analysis for Bitcoin. And by the way, for those that are in Dubai, I'm going to be speaking on a panel with MM Crypto, Carl the Moon and Da Vinci on October 8th to the 10th. If you want to come, the link is in the description below to get 50 percent off your tickets. It's going to be a fantastic event with a great amount of thought leaders in the sphere attending this event. And so let's just first dive into this Bitcoin analysis and talk about what type of price action we're seeing today. A lot of people are talking about the one point three billion dollars that poured into the market from an unknown buyer driving the price up eight percent on the 6th of October. There's a lot of fundamentals that are obviously in the favor of Bitcoin seeing upside. But we also have to address the revolving parts that matter. But with the S&P 500 above the 20 week moving average, the likelihood right now that Bitcoin has the opportunity to test fifty eight thousand three hundred and fifty three is becoming more and more likely. And so that's one of the positive things that. Is happening with the traditional market starting to show some more positive signs and when we go into the smaller time frames, notice how on the three hour chart, we're not seeing too much sellers. We're also seeing ascending buy volume. That to me is a very good thing. And that tells me that this upside move has probably not been exhausted just yet. If we were to actually just draw this ascending support level, notice how we continue to go more and more vertical when we first came down towards 47,000 and have started moving up. We've yet to come test this ascending support level. And so Bitcoin is becoming more and more bullish as it moves into this range between 49,700 and 58,353. And with the traditional markets, if they're not going to just get the rug pulled over the next few days heading into Friday, I think that this could be a very positive thing for the cryptocurrency market. But we do have to address the fact that 
with this type of sell pressure that we've seen since Bitcoin first tested 53,000, we've yet to see buy volume equate to this. So just because we're seeing ascending buy pressure doesn't necessarily mean we've seen the complete move here, knowing the fact that we've yet to see the buy volume that brought us down from 53,000, because that's what I've been waiting for to assume that we've cleared out the bears in this range. And so that's something I'm going to be monitoring on the three hour chart. We go into the three minute chart. I'm going to skip the 15 minute time frame. Notice how we're seeing a lot of spikes here of sell pressure and buy pressure is not equating to this. But when we saw that massive buy order that obviously brought in so much volume that we've yet to see anything compared to that. But since this move, we've really just seen Bitcoin move to the side. And so I think that we're in a very critical area. And what's most important, in my opinion right now, is we just want to monitor the effects of Bitcoin dominance over the next few days when it comes to Bitcoin's price and the altcoins, because today, obviously, Bitcoin didn't move up further, but we were able to see baskets of altcoins move to the upside. And that caused Ethereum to see some strength above this channel resistance coming towards 3650. For those in our Discord group, we did take a short on Ethereum when it first tested 3570. It went all the way down below 3500 and that hit all targets. We have the best signals in this market. This is not the only short we've taken. The question is, where's the money play going to be? And so that's what we're really monitoring now. When you take short positions, you want to be in and out of those. So I'm glad that those hit profits. But we've also been taking long positions on coins like Didex, right? That has already hit three targets. And so there's all coins that are moving. But the real question is, is there going to be a rug pull at some point or another? And if that happens, are we going to have our positions? And for those in the Discord group, we have the number one community in this market. You're sure as hell going to be getting that signal when that time comes. But when we look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, notice how we broke below the 65,000 Satoshi level yesterday. This is a major puzzle piece. Now, of course, we're seeing a garden variety push back to the upside after testing a major support. Question is, if we come to this monthly open at 69,000 Satoshis, are we going to reject and continue further down? That is something I'm going to be monitoring into this week. So just to kind of consolidate what is most important to monitor right now, the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart testing 69,000 Satoshis is going to be something that we're going to monitor because Ethereum is a leading indicator for the mid cap altcoins like Cardano and Polkadot. Of course, there's always those isolated cases like Shibu Inu seeing like over 70% gains in the last 24 hours, or whatever it is. We actually did take a trade on SHIB. Like I said, we have the best trade signals in this market. It's not just me, it's a dozen of our analysts. We did take a long entry on SHIB at 965. So, altcoins that are more isolated and smaller market cap could always break new all time highs. That's not you know, a surprise for those that have been in this market. Uh, but when we talk about all coins, we are talking about the mid caps, the you know, larger caps like Ethereum and the Binance coin. And so I think we really want to monitor 69,000 Satoshis. And then the other aspect of this market that I think is extremely important to monitor. Um, this is a revolving part, part of the four dimensional you know, uh, you know, aspects here is the DXY. Are we going to be continuing this move to the upside now that we've broken above 93.82? I think that that's an extremely important thing to monitor. And then obviously, if we break below 93.82, that's something we're going to be watching. So the DXY continuing to the upside or breaking down is extremely important. We're going to be monitoring the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. Uh, and then the S&P 500 is the last most important aspect that we're going to have to monitor over the next few days because we're seeing, you know, uh, the early signs of a potential rescue operation taking it above the 20 week moving average. Uh, but is this going to move back down? That's what we're going to be monitoring. I think if we can get above this previous weekly open at 44, six or 4446 for the evening futures contract, this right here would be the most positive thing for the cryptocurrency market to have some breathing room to see some upside. So 
today's one of those days where we just have to know what to watch over the next few days because yesterday was a momentous time this year with Bitcoin dominance moving above the 20 week moving average. Uh, that was a, a huge puzzle piece uh, because now it really looks like we've double bottomed here. And as I've been saying on the channel, there has to be a narrative attached to any major move. And so since we've double bottomed with Bitcoin dominance and it looks like Bitcoin dominance wants to move up, what's the narrative that could be attached to this? I don't think that the total cryptocurrency market cap moving further up is a reason for Bitcoin dominance to move up because if that's going to happen and this total market cap chart starts to break this market structural resistance and sees new all time highs, then altcoins should do very well. Bitcoin dominance has no reason to go up. I think that Bitcoin dominance would only go up if the total market cap comes down. And so that's why it's going to be important to monitor the fact that Bitcoin dominance came over its 20 week moving average for the first time since the start of this year, because if it continues further up, then the narrative that I would attach to that is that total market cap starts to come down. And so the last aspect that we have to watch over the next few days is the total market cap testing this major resistance. How is that going to affect Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin price and the altcoins? These are all very important things to monitor. So Ethereum to Bitcoin crossing 69,000 Satoshis or rejecting 69,000 Satoshis is what we want to watch. Or if it comes below 65,000 Satoshis, that's also going to be a confirmation that altcoins are not going to be doing so well. And then, of course, total cryptocurrency market cap chart breaking the structural resistance here right around that two point three five trillion dollar level is what we want to monitor. We want to watch Bitcoin dominance. Is it going to get back above the 20 week moving average? And then, of course, the S&P 500. Is this truly a rescue operation? Could we get back above this previous week low? And that will put us above the 50 day moving average. Uh, and then, of course, lastly, the DXY. How is it going to move over the next few days? And then I wouldn't say much is happening in international markets. They're just kind of moving to the side and then other commodities, um, you know, gold and oil, not necessarily doing much. And so not much to talk about there today, but very interesting time in the market. Thank you all for tuning into the Snipers channel today. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I couldn't do this without you. Once again, we have the number one community in this market. We have one of the largest discord group with over 25,000 members. For those that want to receive our premium signals, the best trade signals in this market, the link is in the description below. I can't wait to continue to serve each and every one of you guys. And I am loving the participation in the discord chat. Look at this. Every single minute we're getting charts posted. We're really building a strong community and we have the number one community in this market. And I am sure of that. And so thank you all for tuning in today. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed this analysis. I'll see you guys later. Snipers.